Howard Hughes, he was a filmmaker. He was a, a, a entrepreneur. I mean, this guy did everything. He made movies. He flew airplanes. I think Scorsese did a whole movie on him. If I'm if I'm correct, yeah, right? the Aviator, the, the Aviator, the right? Aviator. He yeah. had done all these. He, it's I mean, the way he was of the future. Dude. He had made a ton of a shit ton of money. But what's famous about him is that in, he owned the Desert Inn in Vegas. He owned several of the hotels in Vegas. But hmm. he hid himself away from the world for many years. Like he just decided I'm going to live in my penthouse and not see anybody and just live there and run my empire from my penthouse. So there's a lot of those employees never saw him ever. He just hid in his penthouse. And also I want to point out if you've ever played the game New Vegas, yes, there's a I've character in yes. New Vegas so that bring is this reference up. to because every time I watch this movie, I'm like, oh, I want to play New Vegas now. Yeah, um, yes. no, yes. I, I, that, yes. I caught that too. And I, yeah. I like flipped my sh yeah, so that's a reference to that to Howard Hughes. And he was friends with like Albert Broccoli, who was one of the producers. So when uh, Broccoli was cut, because they originally wrote, Richard Baymom wrote a different script, of course, because they were going to make this a direct sequel to Honor Majesty's Secret Service. That didn't happen, right? So they had a different writer come on. And originally, it was going to be Goldfinger's twin was going to be the villain in this movie. They were going to make it so much attached to Goldfinger. They wanted to have Goldfinger's twin. They wanted to bring back that actor what was they it, were going to bring back Gert to play. They were going to bring back Gert to play his twin, twin in brother. this movie originally. But then Broccoli had his dream of his friend Howard Hughes, and he was looking out the window from his penthouse, and he looked in, and it wasn't Howard Hughes. And he thought, oh, wouldn't that be an interesting story if Howard Hughes, because no one's seen Howard Hughes, so how do you know that Howard Hughes is actually running his empire? So he thought, wouldn't it be neat if like a villain, Blofeld, took over Howard Hughes and was running his empire and using it for his own clandestine, you know, so operations. So H, H became yeah. WW. Yeah. Exactly. Very good. Mm, I didn't even think yeah. about that. Uh, but but <laughs> what's even funnier is that Jimmy Dean, Sausage King, he, I believe he was a country music star. Is that correct? Yeah. So yeah, he yeah. was working. He was actually working for Howard Hughes in Vegas. And so when they went to Vegas to scout or whatever, they saw uh, Jimmy Dean's act and they're like, that's our Willard White. That's who's playing Willard White. And he's a lot and, of fun. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he's a lot of fun. Baja. Yeah. yeah. Ba yeah. I don't have anything in Baja. Yeah. Tell uh, him he's fired. He seems angry the whole time. Bert sacks me. Tell him he's fired. He was actually worried when he made the movie because he's like, because he knew that they would send the Bond films up to his penthouse. So he's like, oh, sh mm. I'm the guy I'm working for, I'm doing a parody of him. Yeah. So I was just like, that's interesting. But oh. I think it's it's good for the context because I don't think people realize like that was a thing that happened back then. Mm. But yeah, he was living in the desert inn during this when this filming's part. And even so much so that Broccoli was in contact with Howard Hughes and he uh, th they would say, hey, we got word from the penthouse that, you know, everything, anything that that Albert Broccoli needs to make this movie, we'll give it to him. Essentially, so that was one of the reasons they were able to make this. Some of the can you imagine and having somebody like that on your side? That's amazing for you know? anything. <laughs> yeah. Elon Musk, he really likes the ranked podcast. <laughs> he yeah. wants and he's completely <laughs> open the doors for it. Like, what? Cool, <laughs> we do let's anything. Shoot next, let's shoot the next one on Mars, guys. Yeah. <laughs>